Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard and I will be focusing on inverse binomial uh, distribution. In my previous videos, I've gone through conditions of binomial distributions followed by examples and also um, using a graphics calculator to work out the probabilities. If you haven't already, please do check uh, those videos out. For inverse binomial problems, you'll be asked to either calculate the n value, which is the number of trials, or the x value, which represents the number of um, successes uh, for a given uh, probability. So you need to know that uh, n c0 is uh, equal to 1. That means 0 combination n is always 1. And also um, anything raised to the power of 0 is always 1. So we'll quickly have a look at uh, combinations. So if I go option f6, f3, and I've got x factorial permutations, combinations, and random number. So if I go 5 combination 0 gives you 1, likewise if we go 10 combination 0 is also 1. So in general, if I go n c 0, it will also be 1. Or we can use a, a combination formula and you'll see that uh, the uh, combination will always be 1. So there's only one way of selecting 0 from uh, n number of trials. So in this question, it says a fear six-sided die is tossed and the number facing up is noted. If the probability of getting at least one six is to exceed 0 0.9, how many times should the die be tossed? So we know that uh, the probability of getting a six on a die is uh, one sixth. And um, we are asked to find the n value. It says how many times and how many times implies the number of trials and number of trials is n in this case. So n is uh, unknown. So in this question, we are already given that uh, the probability of uh, at least one sixth uh, needs to exceed 0 0.9, which means greater than uh, 0 0.9. And at least one sixth means uh, greater than or equal to one. So we know that uh, the probability when uh, x is uh, greater than or equal to 1 will take all the discrete values uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to n. And n in this case is unknown because uh, we don't know the uh, number of trials and that's what we are calculating. So using this, we can clearly see that uh, at least means everything but 0. So uh, using complementary event, if at least 1, 6 is uh, greater than 0 0.9 then now sixes will be less than 0 0.1 and uh, then we can uh, write uh, that the probability when x is equal to 0 is less than 0 0.1 now we already know the probability when uh, x is uh, 0 so uh, substituting this in the um, binomial equation we get n is what we want to find and and the combination zero because our x value is zero as you can see and uh, p raised to the power of zero p to the power of x x is zero into one minus one sixth one minus uh, p raised to the power of n minus x and x is zero should be less than 0 0.1 because that's our probability when x is equal to zero and then we know that um, n c zero will become one. So n combination zero is always one. Anything raised to the power of zero is also one. And then we can simplify one minus one sixth. One minus one sixth will uh, simplify to five sixth. And n minus zero here will be n. So that simplifies to five sixth raised to the power of n is less than 0 0.1. And then uh, we've got the um, unknown power we can solve for uh, n we can uh, use a graphics calculator or take ln on both sides to solve so using the graphics calculator we'll um, go to uh, equations so we'll go to equation solver so select f3 to get to solver and then we'll type the equation so we had uh, 5 6 so 5 6 raised to the power of um, n and n will be uh, using x theta t for uh, unknown uh, power is equal to 0 0.1 remember it was 0 0.1 or less less than equal to and then i'll hit enter twice that will give me the um, x value in this context it will represent n value so n as you can see is uh, 12.6 so I can use the equation solver or I could have used um, logs on both sides. 
uh, either way you'll get the same answer so taking logs on both sides you will have uh, log uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 and then divide by log uh, 5 sixth you will end up with the same result as you can see here 12.6 so i suggest you can uh, use either of the two methods but um, using equation solved by is quick and easy you don't need to uh, worry about uh, your algebraic skills using the graphics calculator we get the n value of 12.6 and we'll round this to uh, a whole number because uh, we cannot have a decimal number of uh, trials so in this case n value is 13 and then we write the answer in context the die should be tossed uh, 13 times hope this makes sense i would suggest you can pause the video and uh, try and work this out yourself and see if your answer matches with this what you will need to know is uh, that uh, anything raised to the power of zero is one and also n combination zero will also give you one and uh, once you know this then if you give an information about at least one at least one means everything but zero so using uh, complementary events we can um, find the um, probability of getting uh, zero successes and once i find that uh, x value is zero and the probability i can substitute in the binomial distribution formula and uh, solve for the n value Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.